Okay, so meiosis, you will see that it is slightly different. Okay, but it still follows the same principle. So meiosis, you are reducing the number of genetic material. Okay, whereby there is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So meiosis is also known as a reductive division. Reductive because I am reducing the amount of genetic material. Division because it is through division process. Okay, so diploid parent cell over here. So you have got two phases, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Okay, so replication, it only takes place be to before the meiosis so once meiosis have start there is no more replication so there is a diploid parent cell and this diploid parent cell will then duplicate so once it duplicates it will then have meiosis 1 immediately then after meiosis 1 it immediately enters into meiosis 2 there is no interface between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 okay so over here i have got 23 from the mother 23 from the father so essentially i got 46 chromosomes i got 46 chromatids okay so after that when it duplicates i have got 46 chromosomes but i have 92 chromatids chromatids remember is the number of chromosomes okay count the centromere for the chromosome number so from here i got 92 chromatids 46 chromosomes so here i have got uh, 46 chromatids 46 chromatids okay so these 46 chromatids but 23 chromosomes 23 chromosomes so 46 chromatids will then divide again to give you 23 chromosomes 23 chromosomes so 23 chromosomes 23 chromatids the same 23 chromatids 23 chromosomes the same as well so from the beginning whereby after duplication i got 92 chromatids it had divided out to 23, 23, 23, 23 chromatids and the daughter cells will be ready for fertilization. <laughs> okay, so meiosis resembles mitosis similarly in the sense that chromosomes are not visible until they condense. And during interphase, I have got chromatids uh, being attached over at the central male. So replication only takes place before mitosis and meiosis. Okay, you will see that both meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 follows the same PMAT, PMAT process with some variation. So over here, under prophase 1, you will see that it is very similar to mitosis, whereby I have the breaking down of the nuclear membrane, and then I have the central formation, development of the spindle fibers or microtubule. Okay, so subsequently over here, you will have formation of what is known as a tetric. So if this is a chromosome 1, this is also chromosome 1. So at this junction, I have got 92 chromatids. Okay, so when you look at this to differentiate between chromatids and chromosomes again, I got 1 centromere, 2 centromere. So which means 2 centromere, 2 chromosomes. But how many lines do I have? I got 4 lines. So which means I got 4 chromatids. Okay, so essentially I got 90 two chromatids inside here, 46 chromosomes. So I got chromosome set number one, chromosome set number one, one from the mother, one from the father. And since both are chromosome number one, for example, this is both chromosome number three, for example, they are going to be able to form a tetrate. So once it forms a tetrate and they can form a chiasma at prophase one, this is where crossing over takes place, okay? So at metaphase 1 over here, this is where independent assortment takes place. So meaning to say how these chromosomes align. So is it mother, father, mother, father, or mother, father, 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 you know, that, that sort of thing. Or is it chromosome 1 set versus chromosome 3 set? Is there any arrangement? There's no pre-arrangement. It's completely random and independent of each other so how this assault itself or shuffle itself is completely independent of the other one so this one is whereby i have got the second genetic variation taking place so first one here prophase one crossing over metaphase one i have got independent assortment so subsequently it is very similar to mitosis whereby spindle fibers contract difference however is that i have got double the chromatids 
not chromosomes ah. So at this stage, I got 23 chromosomes, I got 23 centromere, but in each daughter cell, I got 46 chromatids, 46 chromatids. Okay, so once after meiosis 1, it immediately goes into meiosis 2 whereby the entire process of the cell membrane breaking down will take place. Spindle fibers are attached, okay, very very similar to my mitosis. Contractile fibers contract and now I have got 4 daughter cells. Okay, so at this stage, I got 23 chromosomes, 23 chromatids in each of the 4. Okay, so this will then become the gametes. So why is this important? So to ensure there is inheritance, to ensure genetic variation. So genetic variation increases the chances of adaptability of the offspring. Okay, so to ensure that there is good traits that are passing and sometimes mutations can be a positive thing as well. Okay, so better survivor, better stronger traits, favorable characteristics are passed on to the next generation. So last but not least, when we look at the differences between mitosis and meiosis. Okay, mitosis, homologous chromosomes do not have to pair up. Meiosis, you form a tear trait. And during that tear trait, crossing over takes place. Subsequently, there's independent assortment in metaphase 1. But all this does not happen in mitosis at all. Okay, identical daughter cells, but non-identical daughter cells. And at the end, meiosis, it is a reductive division. So I have got haploid number, two nuclear division, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Mitosis have the same number, only one mitosis. Okay, thank you for watching.